In the last video, we went over how to connect a signal through code and create our own custom nodes. Now, if you haven't watched that video, check it out on my channel. Uh, the link will be down below. Now, in order to create something global or a global uh, signal, what we need to do is create a global script first, which kind of makes sense. So let's go to our project files, our project settings, and we need to head over to the auto load tab. In here, we can auto load or add a file. So I can add my utils folder or file. Uh, this is my script. I will open, add, and you can see here, I already have this as a global script. So let's close. And now in this script, this is the util script, you can now see that I have created a signal. It's the same signal from our world file, but now in our world file, we don't have anything. So the question is, how do we connect this? Well, to connect this, what we can do is not at ready draw. We want to say at ready. What we can do is say, um, let's connect it by saying node, right? This is the node we need to get access to. And we need to call the function name, which in this case will be emit this amazing signal. We'll get the amazing signal that we need, and then we will connect it. And I will use the callable this time. So this time I can say callable self, and then the name of the function I want to connect it to. In my case, I can say connected signal. And now over here, I'll put another uh, thing here. So now this, my script looks like so, but the problem is the node does not exist, right? Uh, let's just create the other, the signal function first. So here we have the connected signal and we'll pass through the health variable because in our signal and utils, we do pass through the health variable that gets passed through. And in this function, I'm just going to print the health. And I'll do it like so. And then I'll just print the actual health like that. All right. Now in here, it's saying that it's not declared. So how do we get access to this node? Well, when I hit play, you will see that in my remote section, I have the utils node right here. Now, normally, if this doesn't air, you would have the world uh, scene right under it. Now, of course, you could just get get parent and then you would find it, whatever. But another way to do this is because the utils is global, I can refer to it as utils and I can say dot get path. This will get us the path to the utils. Now, of course, what I want to actually do, though, is say utils node is equal to that get path. But sorry, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say get node and then use that path. Uh, whoops, what am I doing? We'll say get path right there. There we go. So we'll get the node of the utils.get path, and then we will use that to connect it right here. So we'll now say utils.emit this signal. Now, this does technically work, but at the moment it won't work because here it's trying to emit the signal and connect the signal at the same time. So here what we'll do is we'll just wait one second. So I'll say create uh, get tree dot create timer uh, 0.5 and then timeout. So we'll wait 0.4 seconds before we send that signal. And now you can see the health is 60. So that is how we create a global variable to connect a signal or a global signal, sorry, to connect it anywhere inside of our game. So all you need to do is get the path to the actual signal where it is, and then connect it. So it's very simple. Uh, but it's something that might not seem very obvious to a lot of people. So hopefully this helped. Uh, if it did, definitely hit the sub button down below and join my uh, email listing. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.